So we're out here in tobacco country, Cuba. These gentlemen over here work in the fields, coming into a tobacco farm. This stuff's pretty cool, guys, to be able to see this and shoot this. Hey guys, Jason here. It's been a long time since I've done a voiceover video, and so I decided to do it for this video because we spoke Spanish to this gentleman the entire time, and instead of subtitling it, I thought, well, let's do a video. So. This is in Cuba, in Viñales. This is a really great area. I shot it with the 70 to 200, uh, doing you know shots like that, and then detail shots. And then I broke out the 100 millimeter STF, did some macro work, uh, did some portraiture that you're going to see coming up here with this gentleman here. And it was just an awesome shoot. Uh, was able to capture some amazing things. And this is just previews of the shoot, guys, uh, just to kind of give you guys an idea as to what you're going to see. So. I also then did something you don't see me do very often and I went down and got on my knees and did some macro work with some flowers and stuff out in the tobacco fields to really show you guys uh, you know really what the lenses could do and what you can capture when you're out there so I look forward to showing you guys this video it's gonna be a lot of fun uh, this video is sponsored by Squarespace if you go to uh, www.squarespace.com slash linear you can get 10% off your order when you uh, plug in that code and uh, I love Squarespace and I'm grateful that they're sponsoring this video and that we can share this uh, adventure from Cuba with you guys so without further ado let's get started this was all shot with A7R2 and uh, I hope you enjoy now, first and foremost when we approached this gentleman we asked him if we would be allowed to shoot on his farm and he said yes and from the get-go I planned on compensating him for this and for his time um, I chose the 70 to 200 to start with because it gave me such a flexibility to go from shooting some of those zoom shots that you just saw to shooting kind of some up close shots that you're going to see here. Um, you know, anytime you want to get some work done and really show what these these folks are doing down there, it really is helpful to be able to go all the way from 70 to 200. Um, it was very bright during this time of the day. The main issue that I really had shooting this was the uh, shadow that was being cast uh, over his face from his hat. Of course I understood that that was kind of inevitable but you'll see it in the portrait shot here um, that shadow that's coming down and and in a scenario like that what you're really looking for is a uh, high dynamic range camera so you can pull some of that shadow detail out in post. Uh, he bent over here and I was able to get some detail shots with the hands and you know guys I'll tell you what it's funny I'm in the middle of Cuba shooting and I'm using all the lessons that I learned when I was a wedding photographer from getting detail shots and, and portraits and getting them all in one. In one. So you're going to see here that uh, I switched to the 100 millimeter STF and uh, you know something that you'll note is he kept working no matter what I did no matter the fact that I was compensating him he kept working and uh, I really fell in love with just shooting this this man and, and getting those detail shots that you're seeing there and getting the portraits that are coming up here and he would every once in a while just look at me and you know when I shoot a scenario like this what I try to really do is um, let them do some some stuff without me having any intervention at all um, so I can capture some of this stuff and again here's some some more detail shots in the macro mode on that 100 millimeter STF, which is really a, a really nice lens. You'll see a really a shot that pops right here. That stick just sticking out. It looks super cool, kind of a 3D effect. And one thing I do love about that STF lens is just how that blur in the back is so smooth. So you saw that now I'm really approaching him and I'm talking to him and I, I asked him to show me his hands. And the reason for that is I had already watched him go through and you know really wash his hands with dirt, which sounds funny. But what I wanted to do was say, okay, I, why? Why is this happening? What are you doing? And I wanted to capture some of that on um, on my camera. So when setting up a shot like this, what you want to do is get their hands in the same plane, the same focal plane. And you'll see here I was able to capture this hand and really show how hard this man works. Um, but then I asked him to flip his hands around so we could get both sides. And again, I know it sounds funny, but this goes, kind of goes back to the detail work. This is what I would do with grooms at a wedding when I would show cufflinks or whatever else. So it is funny how those lessons translate into pretty much anything that you do. In the portraits here, I love the sun spots coming through and, and showing on his face. And uh, in this next shot coming up, I convinced him to tilt that hat back so I could get a shot of him without the shade in his face. That's one of my favorite shots from the shoot. 
This gentleman is 78 years old. He said he'd been working at that farm for over 70 years and it was such an honor to be able to shoot him. What really struck me too, one of the reasons you see so many shots of the hands and such is he had enormous hands. And uh, that's the blade that he would use to cut the tobacco leaves uh, and put them on there. I then saw another knife on the side of his waist and I asked him what that one was for and he laughed and he said it's actually to defend himself from wild animals or whatever else exists out there. So uh, again I went and got some macro shots with this, uh, well detail shots really but they were in macro mode with the STF lens. This was definitely a macro shot with the STF lens. And uh, you know just spending some time with him and making him feel like I actually valued him even though I'm paying him. I want him to know that the work that he does, I respect. So here he's telling me why he puts the dirt on his hands. It's because the tobacco leaves are very sticky and the dirt enables him to get a better grip so his hands just don't lock down with a bunch of gunk, which is what will happen when you're touching it all day. So I, I asked him to, to show me what he does. So he, he got the dirt there and what you're going to see is 24 images taken in a row with the A7R2. Uh, and the 100 millimeter STF. These are 24 consecutive images, no images were cut. You'll see it kept focused the entire time, which is really cool. And more than anything, we just got some really, really cool shots. Um, it's, it's really fun to be able to, uh, to document something like that. Turned around and then he started smoking. We were able to get some shots of him. You know, he's a tobacco farmer, so of course he's gonna smoke. Uh, all of them do out there and uh, it's, it's just so much fun. Look at his hands. Guys, those are his hands. It's not distortion. This gentleman had enormous hands, which he said really proved to be very beneficial in uh, tobacco farming. So I paid him $50, which was, um, from what we're told, about five times the monthly income for most Cubans. And then I asked him if it was okay if I went down into some macro shots in the, uh, in the fields. And, and now that the conversation is no longer in Spanish, it's just between Brenda and I, I'll uh, put in the audio. Whoa. Isn't that beautiful? That is so nice. Is that that one? It's uh, that one. Mm -hmm. What you'll note here, you'll hear me say it later on in the video coming up pretty quickly, is that um, the wind would blow, which would make it very difficult for me to capture these these flowers and uh, get them straight but you know if you persevere you'll get there and we had a great time. Ah, uh, don't move the wind. But it was really great to be able to uh, switch from a portrait lens into a into a macro lens um, and the blur in the and you see you guys that 100 millimeter STF is something else. So um, again we're gonna come out with lots more Ouch. videos from Cuba. Just wanted to share this with you guys and give you a feel without uh, having a bombard you with Spanish. But uh, until next time, keep shooting, never give up on your dreams. Find an arcade that works for you. And remember, you only have one chance to get it right. Viva Cuba. Talk to you guys later. Bye. You guys still here? Hello? Talking to you. Hey guys, if you want to learn online with me, go to patreon.com slash photography and you will be able to continue this craziness online from anywhere on planet Earth with me. If you want to join me live, go to jasonlinear.com slash workshops and you'll get to see me in my full glory live and in person, guys. I think there's a smudge on there. Is that it? Is that it? Yeah, I got it. Talk to you later, guys. <laughs>